the new contract that we have worked on with Spectrum for our telephone and also to authorize the supervisor <coughs> to sign the new contract. Um, as you know, the board approved the contract back in December, but we went back to the drawing board and we felt that the product was more than what we needed. And we also got our terms extended to three years instead of one. And we worked with Spectrum to basically get back at the December pricing. So uh, our uh, representative at Ronco feels that it's a uh, solid, flexible, um, and functional product that we have. And, and I just want to say Jackie worked hard on it. Rob and I met a few times to go over it, and I think we came up with a solution to something that was lingering. So I, I think it's going to work. And uh, like we said the last time, we kind of are, are, are between a rock and a hard place. And right. You know, they're the only game in town. So um, I, I appreciate the work you've done. I would just uh, ask for a motion to approve the new contract. Respect. I'll make that motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, thank you very much. Do you make a motion to have you sign it? That it be separate? You can usually do that as one motion. Okay. okay. We'll approve it and have a signature. Yeah. I'd like to add that the attorneys have reviewed and approved the contract already. Right. And we've gone back and forth, back and forth, so this would be nice to get this behind us. And this is the one dated for 8, 2018, or 2019? Correct. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. I, I will note it's an Office of General Service contract as well. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and the, oh, you're going to do the end of the I'm sorry. Um, is that it? Nope. I also have uh, our town property insurance is up for renewal. We um, go with the company, the USI, which is formerly Key Insurance. We're keeping the same coverage in effect um, that we had prior year with a small addition of a new computer fraud coverage, which was only an additional $111, but all of our fund transfers are done through computers, which is a good coverage to take. And that's for a year, correct? Correct. Yeah. Um, we're still under budget. So I ask for the board to approve the supervisor to sign the document. So moved. So, second. A motion is second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. The uh, town attorneys have also reviewed the documents and approved. Okay. Um, just a quick statement. I'd like to announce that the Moody's published our report on April 5th. We are still uh, A1 with no outlook. And uh, the full report can be found on Moody's.com. And then our auditors will begin their field work here in the town on May 20th. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Beck is, Beck is excused. Councilman Guyver. Uh, just the uh, town of Lewiston resolution regards Nag University Dwyer Arena site. Can I interrupt yes. you? Uh, yeah, that's that's something I circulated to many of you by email earlier today. That's a conversation that's been ongoing, I think, as you're aware, relative to the Dwyer Arena sign that's out in front of Dwyer Arena and Niagara University. Um, I'm going to ask that this be tabled for until next until uh, next board meeting. I've been waiting to hear back from uh, Council for Niagara University, and I haven't yet. So I want to continue the conversation with them before the board is. Um, takes any action or approves uh, the resolution. Okay, so we'll table that. And university lease. Put it under old business for yep. next time. Mm -hmm. Councilman Jacoby. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to go over some stuff from the county uh, emergency communications tower is being built up in, our, uh, in Dave's lot. Now, real, lot. Real quick, that's why Ned Perlman's here. Ned Perlman's representing the town. Um, there's a conflict with Seaman North, so Ned Perlman's here. From, in, uh, right. Well, and uh, I had a discussion with Ned and uh, Tim, and it uh, seems everyone's on board, but we'll go line by line quickly. Um, the very first thing, Niagara County will apply and request variance for Lattice and pay the $150 application fee. That's sort of up in the air at the moment. It's going to take some discussion with Ned and you and probably Tim to see the best way to go. The, the two options are <coughs> the variance, or we can amend our code, 
and it has to apply only to emergency communications towers. Um, either way, it's it's. But we need to, to move on it. So is that correct? Man? Yeah. Well, excuse me. I have a head cold, <laughs> so I apologize. So. The uh, the lattice towers, as you know, are expressly excluded uh, within the tower ordinance. So you can either amend the ordinance. I don't know the reason why those were put in. You know, it could be that at one point they thought if you have lattice towers, you might have a lot of subleases. The next thing you know, you have four or five different antennas on the lattice tower. Um, you know, there's been discussion among the engineers whether the lattice towers structurally, uh, whether it might be more preferred than the monopole with the guy wires coming out from it. And, um, uh, Variances are generally area variances or use variances. Much higher standard for use variance, um, you know, showing um, that the various economic consequences, uh, and uh, it may be it may be preferred to amend the ordinance. I realize it requires you know public hearing and such, but it may be preferred to amend the ordinance to allow lattice towers for emergency communication towers or something like that as the board deems appropriate. So those are just considerations between the two. Um, obviously, if you have a, if you have the CDA approving use variants, uh, sometimes that's subject to challenge. Uh, if it's not, it's not, if it wasn't, if the board didn't make all the appropriate considerations of the financial impact and things like that. So that's for further discussion. Thanks. I wish that we could uh, come to an agreement tonight so we could schedule the public hearing on that. Is any board members opposed to a menace tower? In this situation, no. Yeah. And, and it, uh, I agree with Ned. And would you agree that amending the code would be the best way to go on this, Jim? Or the variant seems to be a little more troublesome and more likely to take excess time. You don't want to do it tonight. You don't have to. If, if, if you amended the code and said the lattice tower is now okay for emergency, emergency communications towers only, specifically as an exception, then it would also make other mountains illegal tower illegal. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd be doing Just a saying. favor for the fire <laughs> <laughs> um, Well, other than that, do you have another opinion on that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the job I was looking for, but. <laughs> color commentary, that's all. Yeah. Oh. I can tell. Do you think it's premature to vote on that tonight? Um, or you want well, to? as far as the technical aspect. Well, that is how it's paying yeah. for us, no doubt. Well, yeah, I don't think we could do anything tonight. I think you, we need a local yeah, law. That's what, that's yeah, that's what Brian just mentioned to we me. We can't do anything. They you, need a, you need a local law, obviously, to do that. Because the tower ordinance is really, it's a local law. It has to be actually written in the schedule of public Yeah, right. Oh, right. We put on file. Right in the schedule for public hearing approval and then turn yeah. it into the waiting period. Okay. So I think that's a decision we need to make and then we'll, we'll move forward, but I don't think we can do it too. Okay. okay, the next thing well, is that is that that is that is if, if they don't make it by Monday, if they don't apply by Monday, then they'll miss the deadline for the main meeting. <clears throat> for the ZBA. Okay. So just so you're aware. Okay. Okay. The next thing is that Niagara County will pay for any fees incurred by the town. ZBA, engineer review, building permit, etc. Um, the town will waive fees for application, renewals, and extra hike. Um, these are waivers that we've done in the past for other uh, government agencies. And it, there's precedent for it. And this tower is definitely in our best interest as well as the county. So, you know, it's uh, mutually beneficial. Sure. Yeah, can I say something on that? The, uh, yeah. So basically mm -hmm. what the tentative agreement would be, if the town has to incur a disbursement for any of these approvals, such as for the, you know, if the ZBA was going to need, if you're giving the variance, you have to publish it. Anything the town was going to have to expend monies for, the county would reimburse the town. If it's just a town fee, where the town doesn't have an underlying uh, cost for it, then those would be waived. After I discussed that with uh, Tim, um, Claude, I spoke with Claude George, and uh, Claude had asked that the town engineer uh, perform or prepare the 
seek or long for. He said that the, you know, you know, we don't have this equipment in the sheriff's department and your engineer probably does. And he claws right on that, but if that's a disbursement that the town is going to incur, then the county will, should reimburse. And I mentioned that, but that's got to be part of the agreement that the county would then reimburse the town for the uh, engineering costs and preparing the long form um, seeker application. Um, I think it, that you should have an agreement at least with the county pretty quick in this process. Uh, not that it should take you know a short amount of time to do it, but I think that that's got to be a step that we should push to the front here. So I'll be having discussions with Claude sometime next week uh, to at least get a, a draft of an agreement that we can kick around uh, with the town board, of course. But one of the things with that long seeker is, <coughs> it's not a secret, uh, there's some, some idea that maybe our environmental committee is the, is the people who should do that long seeker. Or a tower. Or a tower. It's in the law. Yeah. It's in our code. And I'd love to have GHD do it. They're equipped to do it. But environmental is not a few of them, and they're pretty good at it. So maybe we should take it over to them. Um, the next thing. Uh, that just covered. Town and county need to come to terms on the lease and location at the highway site. There's discussion about that. Building permit is required. We're going to waive the fee. Annual structural inspections are required and documentation provided to the town. No request for renewal will be required. It will be covered by the lease. No franchise fee is covered by the lease. No annual use tax covered by the lease. Lease to address any future co-locations if desired. I believe we're in agreement we don't want any co-locations. Right, and there won't be any sub-leases either. Um, unless without the uh, approval of the town board, so. Mm -hmm. um, all structural analysis will be provided for review prior to building permit issuance. All electrical inspections will be done by Atlantic Inman, who is the town's third party uh, inspector. Inspection fees for Atlantic will be paid to them by the county. Um, I think everyone, any questions about any of this? No, the only question I had to, had to do with who would do the long seeker for Yeah, I think it's going to have to go to environment. Well, they may go to, to review it, but... You, I was at their meeting when you were out of town, and we actually did one. They, uh, want to, they actually want to do it, or they want to review it? They, they did the one for the St. Mary's Tower. They're capable of doing that. <laughs> They're required by our code to do it. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we really have a choice. So it has to get on there. Yes, again, yeah. John, can we get a copy of Upper Mountain Lease Agreement? <laughs> we, we, uh, <laughs> it seems like it's locked in the vault someplace. <clears throat> because yeah. that was my question, too. Um, it would be real nice for background information in our negotiations. I could certainly ask for a copy. If Mr. Brogan sure has said it already, you, you might be able to get a different answer than that. Tyler, you don't have that on file? A copy of the lease agreement for the <coughs> tower that's up there? The yeah. Bill Eagle Tower. Yeah. I can't answer that off the top of my head, but I'm going to be privy to a lot of things. Yeah. And I think we, we talked about like that. Actually, really kind of like Ned's going to do research on that. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that should fly. Um, that's One other thing, John. Now, yeah. they sent me this to sign and approved. So the approval, they're, what they're looking for is just to go ahead and start the process. Yes, right. that, that is not a final okay, because, uh, rendering. Diagrams and the drawings are incorrect. Right. Yeah. Uh, the engineers are aware of it. The yeah, we're aware of it. Aware of it. Uh, yeah. 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 We just need to advise the. We haven't advised the county yet. We have. Yeah. I thought okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So but, it's, yeah, it's a work in practice. Well, and the bottom line here, Dave, is they're not going to do anything in your yard that you don't approve. Okay. Good to be. Okay. Um, should we vote on this as a unit? We need a, the, this, we need this, agreement. We'll make this for our approval. Yes. Yeah. Every, everything except the, uh, the, the, there was one in there that we Yeah, the very first one, because first there's a question about uh, whether we amend the right. So absent number one, Niagara County will apply and request variance for labs and pay the hundred fifty dollar application fee. We'll strike that from tonight. And everything else I'll give you a copy. 
we're going to vote out tonight. Okay. Quick question. No. Have, has the application been submitted? Yes. So you're voting on the submitted application? Because I don't know how much we're charging until... No, no, no. no. What? We're not submitting on a board application tonight, right? Right. No. But you just got this. No, right. they're they're voting on waiving the fees. Waiving those yeah, fees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe, That's my call. Maybe, right. maybe, that, maybe that vote doesn't have to take place until the application is submitted. Because the it application is, is going to okay. That's what I gave you tonight. So all the all the waivers that Mr. Jacoby has indicated are in the application as submitted. Well, as far as waiving fees, waiving town fees. Yes, they they submitted a general application like every other tower committee, mm -hmm. tower application submits. Mm -hmm. But I told them I can't. I mean, they, they came in a box, but I, I'm not doing anything with it until I got direction from them on which fees, because I generally don't take any application in my office unless the fees are paid, which our code says. Mm -hmm. So I can't really take the application okay. until I get direction from the board on what fees are going to get paid and what. Do we, need to, do, do we need to pass a resolution for you to do that, or do you know you kind of know where we sit? We're all in agreement. All we have to do is pass this stuff. Well, yeah, we could pass that resolution. We could okay. propose and pass that resolution. Okay. Waiving those fees for this application. Mm -hmm. That'll allow Tim to insert the numbers. In. Okay. And I think you understand what we're. I think everybody here is, understands exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, I think everybody's in agreement. Right? Yes. I just can't okay. do it on my own. Okay. Yeah. So then I, I make a motion we, we approve two through eleven. Um, as they detail uh, what they pay, what, what we're going to uh, not require them to pay. And Donna will have it on record. Okay. <coughs> I'll second it. Any motion to second? Any more questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. That gives you guidance. We've got the document. Okay, the only thing I really have up in the air now, then, is whether or not they had changed the law or go for right. variance. <coughs> okay. And I'll talk to you tomorrow yeah. a little bit more about it. So, okay. Thank you. Um, I think that, that takes care of you, right? Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Morial. Oh, I got the money off to you. Okay. Uh, resident statements. Anybody like to speak? I, yeah, I just, go ahead. You want me to come up there? Just speak loud. Okay. Cause I, if I understood what you guys just said, the infamous Upper Mountain Fire Tower is illegal? Well, in Tim's mind it is. Well, it's not anymore <laughs> because, because a, ju a Supreme Court justice said it was good. Yeah, there was a ruling. Oh, it's, it's okay. Yeah. He ruled yeah. that it was, it was yeah. legal? Yeah. Okay. Because I was wondering, if it's illegal, what was the town yeah. going to do about it? Yeah. Well, that, it went to court and we got ruled against. Oh, geez. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. So, th so basically, he's just... Sour yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is, Mr. Guybin, are you going to address the discussion that we had uh, in the office? Not tonight because I have new documents that I'm okay. doing, but it was, I will briefly say that I had an opportunity to speak with Mrs. Glasgow and, and uh, Jeanette Calasano in uh, Jeanette's office. We went down memory lane mm -hmm. trying to uh, put together everything in regards to the senior advisory uh, Mission or committee, and uh, we had a good talk about go back to when Margaret Conway was the director and Nick <coughs> Hoke had presented things. But right at this time, I had no recommendation for okay. the company. Okay, and then uh, uh, I guess per your recommendation, it, it says that the senior advisory board is going to meet on Monday. It's not going to meet on Monday, I correct? No, probably the supervisor has been canceled. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, going over the upcoming board commission meetings. Steve, I have one more meeting. I think Bill. Okay. Should we put that meeting in? I can't confirm it until I hear from one more committee, uh, committee member. All right. Here we okay. go. So we have the zoning board of appeals on May 9th, town board work session on May 13th, environmental commission on May 14th, historic preservation on May 14th, and the planning board on May 16th. Mm -hmm. Motion to adjourn. Uh, two. Two brief announcements. Smell Festival Friday, May 3rd at Academy Park this year. Mm -hmm. And I got the supervisors at another competition. Against uh, Mr. Sentinel here. <laughs> and the, the spring fling is uh, Sunday, uh, May 5th. And uh, I believe it's still at uh, the Red Brick uh, site. And that's the afternoon. That's a great activity for the little kids. 
Mr. Ball. And I'll make one announcement. Um, the Niagara County Sewer Board is seeking five either college students or high school graduates for summer help. You've got to be 18 years old and possess a driver's license. I think they pay $12.50 an hour just to throw that out there. So, um, okay. As for motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you everybody for coming.